Hello and welcome back. This is Rochelle from the DIY Affiliate on YouTube. As a content is king video, a consistent content is king video, a content is king video challenge. I am challenging you to start creating content for your YouTube channel. YouTube shares to over nine different social media platforms. If you are a beginner, then this channel is for you. In this video, I am going to talk about my nine steps to creating a video using your cell phone. Step one, staging. Staging is really important. It's really important to know what your camera lens is seeing. And sometimes if you are just doing a video like this, where you're just sitting in front of the camera, it's easy to do. If you're doing a moving video where you are moving with your camera, that is harder to do. What your camera sees is very important. And you need to know where your camera is at all times, whether your camera is at the top or the bottom, the left or the right, because that will tell you where the camera lens is aiming at. The second step is doing a test, testing one, two, three. And it doesn't matter whether you are creating content on your cell phone or if you are creating a step-by-step -step video tutorial on your computer. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You need to do the testing to see what the camera is seeing and also to make sure you do an audio test, which goes something like testing, testing, one, two, three. You want to make sure that your audio is good. Step three is to record your video. Record your video as much footage as you can. Record everything. Keep your camera on. Don't shut your camera off because it can be edited out later. Step four is doing the editing. And this is where you can do your editing in the InShot editor. This is what I use. And I actually have the pro InShot editor. And I can look at my video. I can splice my video. I can make a cut in my video. And I can also trim my video. I can add text, more images, and also different filters. And there is much, much more that you can do. I will leave the link in the description for you to be able to go and check out the videos that I made with InShot. Once you have finished editing your video and you have added an intro and an outro, and you can make an intro and an outro for free, either at Canva or you can go to InVideo. I will leave both links in the description. I created an intro and an outro at InVideo, and I also created a step-by-step -step video tutorial that you can watch. Step five is once the video is finished editing, you've added your intro and your outro, it is now time to convert your video into a medium that can be uploaded to YouTube. Once the video is finished converting, then now you can add a search engine optimized title. So how do you get that? Well, you take what you want for your title, you go to the YouTube search engine, you, you copy and paste the title into the search engine and see where the video is going to end up. And while you are doing that, check out the other channels and the other titles and see which keywords are more popular. And this is where I talk about vidIQ. VidIQ, you can create a free account today and you will be able to see all the tags, the key tags of all the videos that are on YouTube. You will also be able to see a checklist in which you can make sure that you do for your video in order to create a search optimized video so that you can rank your video 
on the YouTube search engine. I will leave the link in the description for you to go and get your free account at vidIQ. So you now are ready to create your title. You've done your research, you're creating your title, and the keywords that you use for your title, you will then put into your description. You will take your whole title and add that either as the first line or second line or something similar to it. It's sort of like a focus key phrase. Add your hashtags. Hashtags are really important. Hashtags will appear below the video. If you don't add your hashtags, YouTube will take your location and put your location below the video. So you want to try to rank for the hashtags that you choose for your channel. Description. Now you are going to take the keywords that you used in your description to create your key tags. There's another app that you can download from the Google Play Store called YouTube, uh, YouTube Tags. And I will leave that link in the description for you to use it. Another question it will ask you, is this video made for kids? I always say, no, it's not made for kids. Because if you click on, yes, it is made for kids, your video will have no, no engagement. Do a playlist. You can, would either choose a, a playlist that you already have, or you would create a playlist. But the video needs to go on a playlist. That is part of the search engine optimization. Now you are ready to upload your video to YouTube. You will then click on the save and then upload to YouTube. This will take a couple of minutes. Once the video is uploaded to YouTube, you can then go to your browser. And for me, it is Chrome. Go to the three dots located at the top, the three dots located at the top right hand corner. Click on the three dots and scroll down till you get to desktop site. Click on desktop site. This will now give you the same view as you would get if you were using your desktop. Scroll down to YouTube studio. And once you are in YouTube studio, you will then see the dashboard. Choose content and choose the video that was just uploaded. The view is the same as, as if you are looking at your desktop. It is just the same. And now you can add your video cards and you can add your end screens. Add up to five video cards on your video and you would place them strategically in the video, not all together, not all clumped together. Because when you see the circle with the eye in it and a little, a little message, that is what gets people's attention. When you are creating your video card, three things to look, well, there's two really, the custom message and the teaser text. So what is teaser text? Teaser text is getting people to think. They see the circle with the eye and you get them to think, is this something that they wanna click into? But one of the most important parts is the thumbnail. If people are not interested in the thumbnail, they're not going to click into your video. So pay a lot of attention to the thumbnails when you are creating your video cards. And creating end screens is just a matter of choosing a template and adding either a video, a playlist, or a subscribe button. And if you are using an outro, then you would try to fit your videos into the square, the squares of the outro. So if you have two squares, you will use two videos. If you have an outro with four squares, then you will use four, well, you could use four videos. Recap. Step one, staging. Step two, doing your test. Step three, recording. Step four, editing. Step five, upload, converting, uploading, adding your title your description, your keywords. Step six, adding your end screens and your video cards. Step seven, 
adding your subtitles. Now, YouTube does automatic transcriptions. So it's already there. You need to go in, choose duplicate and edit and edit the, the script that's already there. Why do I say that's important? Some people don't have time to actually listen to videos. They just want to read or it's late at night. Somebody else is in the room and they just want to read the video. So if you are reading a video and as an example, um, when I did videos for the ancient sophistical tones and frequencies, it came out as sofa and shows. So it's kind of funny because you're reading the transcript and it's not making sense. This is the reason why you would do your subtitles. And also it will help your video to rank faster. If you create your own subtitles you and you publish it, it will then show in your video and your video will be more relevant. Step eight is to publish your video. Now you can't forget to save your changes and you also need to make sure that you are either using the YouTube license, which is copyrighted, which you are copy copywriting all of your videos and nobody can use it. If you use the Creative Commons license, then people can then use your video while giving credit to you as the creator. And the last step is sharing. YouTube shares to over nine different social media platforms. If you don't have an account on these social media platforms or ones that are more dominant, such as Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Reddit, Tumblr, and Blogger. So this is your opportunity to now take your video and share it to these other platforms where you're going to get a totally different audience. You will have a different audience in every social media platform. Facebook will be a different audience. Twitter will be a different audience. Pinterest will be a different audience. This is the way that you create your organic traffic. You are also putting your video out there. The more likes that you get, the more views that you get will allow YouTube to see that people are liking your video and they will recommend your video more. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that I have been able to help you or answer some questions that you may have. I look forward to reading your comments and stick around on my channel and check out the different playlists and see if there is a video that might answer one of your questions. If you have any comments for me, any questions, I would be happy to give you an answer to your questions. For people who are just beginning to build an online presence, it does start with YouTube. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Stay safe and have a wonderful evening. Looking forward to hanging out with you in the next video.